Okay, go. It's going? Yes. Hey, I'm Phil. I'm the new guy taking over. Lewis Hardy Fruit Trees for Ron. So, uh, I don't know. I won't say much more about that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, do some pruning. Just an example here. This is a mature um, pear tree. And the pears are a good example. The apples and plums, you would do a very similar thing. But uh, the pears are very, very vigorous growers. So you got to kind of stay on top of them or they'll look a little shaggy. So unfortunately, you know, I'm a poor example here because last year I wasn't so uh, good at the pruning. You could see some of my other pear trees got a little bit uh, out of hand. They were a little stunted with the caterpillars last year and I kind of laid off pruning them too much. But now I got my work cut out for me this year. So we'll, we'll go over a few things on this one here on how we want to prune them and how they've been pruned over the years. So first what I'll show you is a few kind of examples if you come here about how it's already shaped. So what you want to do when you're training these trees is you want to kind of pick four to six really good scaffolding branches here at the lower end. So you'll see that I had kind of this one, this one, this one that are coming out, you know, at a good angle here, about 60 degrees, somewhere between there, not too, you know, acute and not too straight out. So those ones were all trained. And then I had this one here, which unfortunately sustained some damage. The pear trees really like to grow straight up and not very out. So sometimes you need to influence them to step out. So sometimes on a yearly basis, you would do something like cut this one and then let it step out each year. There might be a few examples in one of the other, the other tree there, and maybe it has a few examples of that. But. So what you do, the first thing you want to do is you look for the three Ds. You look for dead, damaged, or diseased branches, and you want to take those off first. So in this case, this poor one, you know, I could, you know, potentially try to save it, but, uh, you know, it's a pretty vigorous tree, so we'll start by just taking off that one. So we'll make a quick little snip. You want to go pretty close, you know, around the collar where it kind of steps out close to that. It's not, uh, you know, not necessarily too particular. Then what I would do next is just take a quick look for anything that's you know, dead or disease, anything that's, you know, totally dead, totally nothing on it, you know, they have to come off. There's no point in having them. It is the portal of infection where all the bad stuff's going to get in, right? So I'll take a quick look for anything like that. There's not too, too, there's not too, too much. I, may have, I don't think I came out yet this year, but I think I mostly skipped it. So the next thing you want to start doing is looking at anything that's really, you know, that's a sucker, that's going straight up. That's coming off a branch that's not really going to do anything for the tree long term. So we look around here. So here's a perfect example. This one here. You know, straight up, straight up. You know, in the middle of everything, totally in the way. You want to start taking down anything like that. And then give your branches a nice open appearance. Anything that's coming back in on itself. So. You know, this one's coming right back into the center of the tree. It's also mostly a sucker. This one here, you know, this whole branch can probably come off. Or what I could do is try to keep it for one of my new scaffolding branches. But I don't like the way it's twisted and it's really all this one year growth. No good. And you could be, you could be really, you could take off lots of stuff. These trees, these trees like that. You want to have lots of fruit, you want it nice and open, so you can take off quite a bit of stuff. So we'll look here, here's a good example where you've got a nice open, nice kind of flat plane. So you want to take anything that comes off and is shaded. So if we look right here, for example, we have these two branches. This one's nice coming off here, and then you have this one right underneath. Not really adding much. So we'll take off anything that's kind of shaded. And then anything kind of crisscrossing. So this thing, you know, this thing's a bit, a bit out of control. It's a bit hard to uh, show you. Let's go over here. So here we go. Here's an example. So we have these two branches coming out. We have this branch here. You know, this is, this is a, you know, a jumble. You know, there's a bit of mess. So anything that's crisscrossing. So these are right on top of each other. There's no point having all those, right? So I have to decide what I'm going to keep and then open it up. So in this case, what I'll probably do. You know, this one's got this one, this one here. I'll take off this one here. Keep it nice and open. 
this year, kind of straight down and out. No point. So this here, so this is going up. This is kind of vigorous straight up. And this is how I talked about kind of straining it open where you kind of have a nice a new one coming out. So what I do is take this whole thing right off and then the tree will kind of step out a little bit from there. You know, this is kind of little and straight out. Take it down. The other thing I want to show you here is last year we did a bit of a grafting workshop. So we did a bunch of uh, bud grafting in the fall and this is one of the one of the ones that took. I felt like there was a few other ones when I was looking around the other day, but this is one that took. So what I already did here earlier today when I was looking was I took down kind of everything coming up and mostly just to be able to keep an eye on it and then it had a large branch on the, up above it, stuff like that. I took all that down and everything above this here. So I did keep this stub because what I'm going to do is as this grows out is I may end up tying this branch onto this higher one just to support it for the first year, maybe two years so that it doesn't fall, it doesn't come off because it is still you know, a weak attachment until it grows better. So I left this stump, and this I'll probably cut down after, but just to tie it on for the first couple years and then open everything up so that everything coming up this branch is really, really vigorous. So what I'll probably do too is take down this here too. So, I mean, this tree's vigorous. It's got growth everywhere. So what I do is take down this, which is on the same branch, and then I may even take down some of these so that everything's kind of going up this branch into that, into that graft, and we'll see if it takes. So you can see one of the... Uh, failed grafts here so you know they you split the tea and then we had put in the graft and they just didn't take but this tree's you know quite quite hardy quite vigorous the pear so I mean it filled itself in and went crazy there's a few more here you know here's one of our attempted grafts didn't you know didn't take here's another one uh, there's a couple more here that this one didn't take and fell out this one didn't take and it's still in there. you can see there oh there it came out so it was in there but it never never took and i mean you know you can attempt grafting the trees and once they're this vigorous and this hardy it's not gonna do very much to them like i said here i'll take down i will take down this one here i'll kind of come to here and then the same thing like this one here it's kind of shaded, kind of growing in, you know, this whole thing. It's, you know, it's not, not ideal. I'll take this down. But uh, those, are the, those are kind of the main concepts you're looking at. You know, you're looking at the disease, dead, dying stuff, and then you're looking at training it, training it open, you know, make sure it doesn't, doesn't crisscross, overlap, looking at, you know, kind of straight up stuff. That's no good anyway kind of stepping it out. So like I talked about, you're stepping it out kind of like this so that the tree will slowly progress out. This is important for pear trees, like I said, more straight up and down. Certain apple trees or certain other trees are more, do have a better growth pattern going out. I'm gonna pick away at this for quite a bit more and then take it down. So what I'll do probably is throw a couple pictures up at the very end of what I'm all done. You know, maybe I'll even walk around and take a little video and snip it together if I can figure out how to do that. So I'll Clean it up some more and then I'll talk a bit more after that. We'll go from there.